Good morning, Cavradians. Hard to believe that we're here in uh, week three of term four, where the last school holidays seems like a distant memory. It's an auspicious moment for today's assembly for one reason, is that it's the last one we'll be sharing with our year 12 students. The celebration events coming up in a couple of weeks' time, I had paused to have a look at this year's calendar. With four weeks to go for year 12s, five weeks to go for year uh, uh, 10s and 11s, and um, seven and a half weeks for 7s, 8s and 9s, it'll be Christmas before we know it. As we come to the end of the year, it's a period of celebration, of recognition and planning ahead for next year for those of us continuing on here at CAV. I'd like to give special recognition to all of the staff who've put 150% into making the lives of our, the young people in our school uh, so engaging, especially in a difficult year that we've had. Great school spirit this year where philanthropy thrives and in this, today's presentation um, you'll see more about the success of the recent canned food drive. So sp school spirit looms large in our school, particularly with the friendly sports matches we've had and just um, Last Thursday, um, it was quite a delight to see um, the friendly match between ourselves and State High in football, and of course, Cab coming out on top. What a great afternoon it was for that. And the rest of the sporting arena, great success recently in the Interschool Sports um, Touch Team Challenge, where our uh, under 13 girls came away as champions. And this is where I'd like to pay um, tribute to those young people and staff who gave so much of an effort to come away with the prize on that day. Cameron Bray, who I believe ended up with uh, player of the uh, player of the match, Matilda Rogers, Talia Bellis, Coco Smith, Sasha Williams, Ava Lawson, Lindsay Vandenborn, Aisha Fitzgerald, Georgia Douglas, Brooke Itell, Gemma Ward, Matty O'Brien and Rebecca Rupp, what champions you are and for flying the flag for Kev. Couldn't be done, of course, without the teachers. Uh, Mrs. Farrelly, and Mr. Loth, Mr. Cross, and uh, Mr. Bachelor helping out. Um, a, a tiring and exhausting event, and the, the um, just goes to demonstrate the added miles that uh, our staff here go to support young people, students, to um, have a great opportunity through our school. On the academic side, I'd like to congratulate those 19 students who, with Mr. Bing Yu, um, uh, met and beat and um, completed their university uh, maths course. Uh, there are 19 proud young people, no doubt, holding certificates at the moment um, for uh, their, their, their success in tertiary study. Looking ahead, our school captains for 2021 and really pleased to announce to the entire school the names and positions of our school leaders. School captains for next year, Cody Condy and Rafe Priestley, Vice Captains Innovation Excellence, is Cohen Pahiba, Tradition and Community, Jade Rin, Arts Prefect, Carson Blythe, Annalise Hoskins, Sports Prefects, Zach Mullally and Levi Staines, our Indigenous Leader, Lily Prescott, Talitha Saldana, Cultural International, Bella Lim, Anastasia Yala, Community, Kate Dunn, George Trinker, our STEM prefix, Joshua Choi and Isabella Holland. Now as for house captains, for Harper, Cara Campbell and Heath Crawford. Johnson House, Jacob Dunn and Hunter Rollington. For Harrop, Gemma Burton, Billy Manns, Paige, Georgia Carmody and Sam Carmody. Junior leadership positions were hotly contested this year as well and great to see so many future leaders stepping up. Our school leaders for junior school next year and we'll be announcing their positions on the year assembly in the near future. But these young people know they've won positions for next year and all credit to them. Sam Flannery and Cameron Bray, Harry Hall, Armel Havil, Josh Rimmer and Sophie Hosack. Will Hayworth and Matilda Rogers, Zalia Stoddart and Trinity Oxenham, Joey Yee and Kyra DeAndrea, Cassidy Condy and Phoebe Richards, 
Will Aitchison and Noya Geta. Congratulations to all those aspiring new leaders to our school. As you're aware, this year we broke our canned food total of 24,000 cans, and I would like to introduce Robert Rimmer from Second Bite to say a few words. Thank you. Catherine, on behalf of Second Bite, we would like to present you with this certificate of awesomeness to Cavendish Road State High School. Thank you very much. We collected 24,646 cans of food for Queenslanders in need during your 2020 can food drive. An outstanding effort which has gone a very long way towards supporting the most vulnerable in our community. And thank you to the staff and students who made this happen. Uh, I'd just like to uh, take a minute to um, tell you more about the value of this kind of support. Um, recently, Food Bank, who we work with very closely in uh, the food relief sector, uh, have recently released their hunger report. Uh, I, I understand that an infographic can be put on the screen for you to look at now. Um, three in ten Queenslanders who had never experienced food insecurity before this year have gone hungry due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, I thought that it's particularly relevant to tell a school student body um, that the hardest hit group is Gen Z, uh, the group 18 to 25. 65% uh, of Gen Z have at some point in this last year um, been food insecure in that they've been unable to afford food at least once a week. Um, the number of Queenslanders seeking food relief has doubled this year. Um, and one final telling statistic is that the numbers are up um, by 47% people seeking food just to get through the week or the next day. Um, about a quarter of those uh, are actually going through at least one day a week without eating anything at all. Uh, some of the most, most vulnerable groups um, in that sector are um, children who can't necessarily access food for themselves, um, women who are in uh, whatever situation, um, you know, dependent um, and may not be able to access food readily, and the elderly, of course, who are sometimes faced at the end of the fortnight with the choice between life-saving medication or a decent meal. Um, so I encourage you to have a closer look at the Food Bank Hunger Report uh, and check that out for yourself. Um, those statistics are quite amazing when you consider what a wealthy country Australia is. Um, that's what Second Bite does. We work to support those people. Um, from the front line, we supply the front line. The people on the front line who you've helped out with your canned food drive, um, they're, the, they're the real heroes here, in my opinion. Um, you guys, uh, uh, your canned food drive went directly to Rockhampton, to the, the St Vincent de Paul Support Centre up there. And from that centre, uh, those canned goods went out to assist dozens upon dozens, hundreds of people. Um, I'm going to read directly from what Bev, uh, Bev Rose, the director of the Welfare Centre in Vinnies, has sent me uh, by way of thanks to you all today. The Vinnies Support Centre in Rockhampton provides food assistance and other forms of support to approximately 20 individuals and families each day. It represents about 200, 250 people every day. The numbers are growing as the number of local people who've lost their jobs through COVID-19 continues to increase. In Rockhampton, it's become increasingly difficult to find a place to live due to the low number of rental vacancies, which has put many people out of their homes. Canned food is particularly valuable because it allows people without a fridge or esky to get through each day, and it's greatly appreciated by those who need this type of assistance. The delivery of canned food from students at Cab Road State High has allowed Vinnie Support Centre to provide vital assistance to the most vulnerable people in our community. Cab Road donations have also helped out the Vinnie Support Centre in Yupoon, 40 kilometres away, which was heavily impacted by severe bushfires in 2019 and then rolled straight into the middle of COVID-19 pandemic. Canned food donations from Cab Road have also allowed a broad range of support for schools in Rockhampton, Yupoon and Mount Morgan. Schools are in regional centres particularly, one of the areas where we experience the most demand for need, um, for obvious reasons. Benny's Support Centre provides breakfast and lunch for school students whose families cannot always provide these meals. 
In some cases, we've assisted students who have not eaten for more than 24 hours. Uh, Indigenous youth organisation Darambal, Community Youth Service, have also used Cab Road canned food, food donations in cooking classes held at Glenmore State High School. These classes teach the students to cook meals and the meals are then offered to all the students to eat. Uh, the guidance officer at Mount Morgan State School can identify families that require further assistance. The Vinnie's Support Centre has been able to deliver meals and other items, including Cab Road canned goods, to the school every week for families who don't have transport to come and collect direct from Rockhampton. Cab Road donations have also been distributed to community agencies, including a rehab centre, a halfway house for young prisoners reintegrating into the community, and several further ind Indigenous organisations. And that provides opportunity for some of the community's most vulnerable people to actually eat three meals a day. Bev says, on behalf of the Vinnie Support Centre, many thanks to everyone involved in achieving this great outcome. I just want to finish by saying, we can't overstate the value of this kind of support. What you've done has gotten some of the people in Queensland who are doing it the toughest through one of the toughest periods of their lives yet. It's been very real and direct support and we encourage you to keep up the great work. Thanks, Cabro. Hi Cabro, Mr Faulkner here. I just wanted to pass on my thanks. Um, everything sort of changed this year with the canned food drive. I guess we moved it forward into Term 3, we changed organisations, but I guess the Cabrodian way, we were able just to surpass our goal of 20,760 from last year and absolutely smash it with 24,646. Um, special mention to Harrop End, they collected 2,442 cans, so well done to you guys and by the end of the term you'll get your pizza party as I'm already getting pestered by the kids. But today I wanted to pay, uh, pay recognition to these students who achieved the highest in their grade and then overall here at school. So for year seven, we have Troy. Okay. Hayley in grade eight. Bit of a smile as we walk through. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks Hayley. Tommy of grade nine. We then have Talitha in grade 11. She's not here, so Talitha, if you see this, come grab your certificate from T-Block. Then overall, we had our fifth overall highest was Jeremy. Our fourth, we had Dion. Third, we had Taryn. Now, our highest overall for grade 10 was Olivia, but also she was tied in first overall for the whole school, so well done to Olivia. Same, Jackson, so highest in grade 12 and highest tied highest overall, so well done to Jackson. And then lastly, I just wanted to pay, uh, pay a special mention to uh, Jess Morgan, Rebecca Morgan and Hayley Tran. Across the three weeks, they gave up nearly every morning to help organise us with cans and it was a really big help, so well done to Jess. Thanks guys and let's look forward to 2021. Hello everyone, here I am today with Ava and Eve. Uh, last week from Wednesday to Sunday they competed in the Queensland All Schools Touch Competition um, with three girls team, three boys team and one mixed team. Um, Ava, how did the 13 girls and the 15 girls go? The 13 girls did very well and won all of their six round games. They made it through all the way to the grand final which they won 6-1 to All Hallows. The 15 girls also won all of their seven round games, which led them through to round 16, which we unfortunately lost 3 2 to All Hallows. That was a really good effort for both teams. Now on their team, how did the boys go? Sadly, the 13 boys did not make it through to the finals, but had a great effort throughout all of their round games. The 15 boys convincingly won all of their round games, but sadly got knocked out in the quarter finals, losing to Cameron Park 6 to 4. That sounds like a really good effort from every team in Cabo. And I hope next year we come back even bigger and better. Thank you. Um, good morning students, um, today it's my pleasure uh, to award some certificates to some of our highest performing mathematics students. Um, as part of mathematical study we have an accelerated program and for our best and brightest students that culminates in university study. Um, these students study with either Griffith University and do a university uh, maths course in engineering um, or they study Math 1051 in Calculus and Linear Algebra with the University of Queensland. 
Um, both courses um, are the courses that students would undertake while at university, but because these students are six months ahead of their peers, and they get an opportunity to do this work whilst they're at school. Now this year we have um, had amazing performances, and in fact it is the best performance that we've ever had um, at Cavendish Road State High School in terms of their mathematics. We had 19 students graduate. Of those 19 students, 15 students achieved at high distinction or distinction level, which is a level few university students reach. Um, so to present some certificates today, I've invited Mr Beebe and Dr Farr um, to present the certificates. The first of those will go to the Griffith University students, and I'll ask Mr Beebe to um, give them their certificates as we go through their results. Um, the first of those is Angus Canfell, distinction. Congratulations, Angus. Georgia Domagala, distinction. Well done, Georgia. Reese Harms, high distinction. Congratulations, Reese. Dion Keenan, high distinction. Well done, Dion. Thank you, sir. Emily Lashmar, distinction. Congratulations, Emily. Declan Ning, high distinction. Congratulations, Declan. Jack O'Brien, high distinction. Congratulations, Jack. Thank you. Taryn Pollard Manser, high distinction. Well done, Taryn. Ben Rowan, high distinction. Congratulations, Ben. Thank you. Winter Scott, credit. Congratulations, Winter. Ryan Thorburn, high distinction. Congratulations, Ryan. Thank you. Jonathan Zhang, high distinction. Good job. Thank you. For the second group of students, I'll ask Dr. Park to come forward to uh, award their certificates. Matthew Allwood, high distinction. Well done, Matthew. Alana Berglund, credit. Jeremy Brady, distinction. Cooper Janke, high distinction. Timothy Ryle, high distinction. And Kai Will, pass. And this represents an amazing achievement um, by the students involved. And if you have the opportunity to see these students um, around today, um, can I ask you to congratulate them? Um, few students uh, are able to perform at such a level um, at such a young age. So again, we congratulate them on their performance. I want to also congratulate uh, Dr. Hua um, for his efforts in supporting these students to their achievements. Thank you so much. Hi guys, we just want to quickly introduce our final event for 2020. As many of you know, chemistry is the best science. That's why this Friday the 23rd, we'll be celebrating colourful chemistry with a bang. Come down to Elbock during first break to participate in hands-on chemical reactions such as lava lamps, acid rain, real lungs, dry ice colour changing, and the ever popular hydrogen pop test. This event will be open to all grades and all students, so come down and enjoy some hands-on science. Hey Cab Road, we're from Duke of Ed and we're here to talk to you about our upcoming charity event, Share the Dignity. Share the Dignity is a charity that supports women in crisis, whether this be homelessness, loss of job or domestic violence situations. We are looking for donations of items which will give these women the dignity they deserve. unopened deodorants, soaps, moisturisers, toothpaste and toothbrushes, sanitary products like pads and tampons, unopened lipsticks and lip balms, hair ties, hair brushes and COVID-19 supplies like hand sanitizer and shop-bought face masks. Aerosols, open goods, single packets of tissues, foods and razors cannot be included. This campaign will be running from week two to week five. Donations can be placed in donation boxes, which will be located outside of the Y Block staff room, at Student Services or at the Resource Centre. Please help us help them by donating. I said certified Three little birds <laughs> my window. 
Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, that's good. No, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Smoky <laughs> like cinnamon, so sweet. Little girls double dutch on the concrete. I'm Rafe and this is Cody. And we're your school captains for 2021. Yeah, so my name's Jay. I'm Colin. And we're your um, vice captains for 2021. And uh, so for my goals this year, I would like to improve on the school community we already have and show everyone that leadership is cool. Awesome. So do you guys have any major goals for next year? Uh, just for myself, or just I'm going to show the youngest that like, you don't need much to be a leader, just, just uh, Stick to what you know, you don't have to be smart, just believe in yourself, I guess. And just to add on with that, we're really like here for you guys. So if you have any like ideas, suggestions that you want, feel free to talk to us and yeah, if we're yeah. down for anything. So yeah. Um, after the year of 2020, I think 2021 is just gonna be the best year possible for all the grades. And I just want to represent the school well with Rafe, and I'm pretty sure the both of us is gonna do the best job that we can possibly do. Hey, we're Josh and Izzy. And we're your 2021 STEM captains. Yeah. Um, our goals are to show uh, how much the STEM subjects, uh, how you can see it in your daily lives, and to inspire the students of Cabra to pursue STEM careers in the future. Yeah, just show you guys how cool STEM can be and have a good time. <laughs> Hi Cav, I'm Anna and this is Bella, and we will be your international prefect for 2021. And what are your goals for next year? Yes, our goals are to like develop relationships between international students as well as the Cab Row students. So it can be like a happy experience for the community and for us. Hi, I'm Zach Mullally and this is Levi Staines. And we're your 2021 Sports Prefects. Our goals are to have fun and help our peers do the best at sports they can be. I'm Annalise and I'm your 2021 Arts Prefect. The other arts prefect classes will be here today. My goal is to make the arts more accessible in CAV and to get more kids involved in the programs. Yeah. My name is George Tranker. And my name is Kate Dan, and we're your 2021 community prefect. And what are your goals for next year? Well, our goal for next year is to make the year absolutely lit. We're going to have some mad things, you know, all the events. Madness. Sum up, madness. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Cara Campbell and this is Heath Crawford and we're your Harper 2021 house captains. Hi, I'm Georgia. And I'm Sam. We're the Page House Captains for 2021. Hi, I'm Jacob Dunn. And I'm Hunter Rollington and we are both thrilled to be your Johnson House Captains for 2021. So next year we plan, we hope that uh, it's a better year for all the sports events and we get to fit all of them in. We just want everyone to get involved. Yeah, we're, we're really looking forward to getting everyone involved next year. So we know we missed out on a lot this year and next year we're just going to give it all. And what are your goals for next year? Um, we're really looking forward to winning and trying our best this year. And everyone participating. Alright, so you know, Harper's been in a bit of a drought for a while. So we're here to raise it from the ashes and let's go Harper. Over the past year, Brandon and I have been honoured to be your school captains. CAV has given us more than we can ever possibly repay. Incredible teachers, friends, mentors, and above all, an unparalleled sense of community and belonging. We have been given so many opportunities this year, and we're so grateful to everyone who has helped us along the way. We cannot possibly thank everyone, but we'd like to say a heartfelt thank you to each and every one of our teachers. To Miss Potter, Miss Van G, Mr. Beebe, Mr. Cox, Mr. Carthy, and of course, Ashdog. This year has frankly been nothing short of a roller coaster. With so much uncertainty earlier this year, it's a relief to see how it all turned out. 
When it comes down to it, our lives have barely been disrupted by the pandemic, which is not something other states or even other countries have had the fortune of. So let's all take a quick moment to appreciate that we can finish the year with our friends by our sides. Later this week, Jess and I, along with all other grade 12s, are off an example, and we will be for about a month or so. So, we want to take this opportunity, in what is our final parade for the year, to thank everyone for listening to us drone on week after week. I know parade probably isn't your favourite event of the week, but I've grown to really enjoy our parades. They've been a chance for us to express our thoughts to an audience of considerable size, ranging from the serious and lamentable to the silly and outright stupid. Something I've learned from this experience as school captain is to never take yourself too seriously. I've always tried to let the silly side of my personality come through in this position. And so, that's my final message to you all. Even when times might be stressful or serious, a joke or two will never hurt. Because even in the darkest of times, there's always some light to be found. Brandon and I will really miss our time at CAV, but we are confident in Rafe and Cody who are our successes. <laughs> But we're confident in Rafe and Cody, who are our successors to the throne in 2021, alongside their vice captains, Jade and Cohen, and the rest of the prefect team. We know you will do a great job in representing CAV, and we wish you all the best for the year to come. Thanks, Thanks CAV. CAV. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, good job. Congratulations to all those students honoured across the range of activities across our school, community, excellence, tradition, innovation. Go, CAV.